22-year-old Yardley Love attended the University of Virginia in 2010. She dated George Hughley, a fellow UVA student. They had been dating for more than two and a half years by the time of spring 2010. It was an on-again, off-again relationship due to Hughley's aggressive behavior triggered by alcohol. Three years earlier, in 2007, Hughley was charged with underage possession of alcohol. In 2008, he was arrested for public drunkenness and resisting arrest. In the early morning hours of May 3, 2010, a roommate of Yardley returned to their off-campus apartment and found Yardley's body. She was lying face down in blood on her bedroom pillow. By about 2.30 a.m., Charlottesville police were investigating, and before 8 a.m., George Hughley was being questioned by two detectives. This is the police interrogation. Can you find the water jug now? <clears throat> Just so you know, um, I don't have any arrest warrants for you, okay? okay? However, I am investigating a case, all right, and right. you are being detained, which means right now you're not free to leave, okay? okay? So I want to talk to you about this to find right. out, you know, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Does that right. make that sense, Steve? Exactly. Yeah. So before I can even, I want to talk to you, I want to make sure you do understand your rights, okay? And that way I can explain to you what's going on and all that good stuff. Do you understand, you understand yes. that? Okay. Today's date is May the 3rd, 2010. The current time is, no, I can't tell on that one, 7.52, okay? My drama papers too. What's that? I said a lot of my drama papers still right now. Yeah. All right, your first name is George? Yes. G E R G. And your middle name? Is Wesley. How do you spell that? W-E-S-L-E-Y. And spelling of your last name? H-U-G-U. G-U? E-L-Y. I've already told you who I am, Lisa Reeves, and this is Ed Pratcher. He is also a detective that starts with this point. Oh, God. And this is, is just something I have to ask you. Can you read and write? Yes. Have any threats or promises been made to you by the police or the Commonwealth Attorney's Office? No. Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before questioning and have one present during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be provided for you. And if you're willing to talk to us now, you have the right to stop talking at any time. Got it? Yep. Awesome. Just need your signature there that you understand your rights and are willing to talk to us. And the time now is 7.53. And because Detective Pratcher is here, I'm going to stick his name in here. The detectives start off the interrogation with easy questions that Hughley can answer. She stays off the main topic, at least until he's talking freely. All right. What I might do, I might take a little few notes here and stuff as I'm fine. talking to you. And, um, First of all, I just want to kind of get a little background on you, if that's okay. Um, you're a UVA student, obviously. Um, how long have you been a student? It's my fourth year. Fourth year? Oh, okay. Long time there, huh? How long have you lived where you live right now? For two years. For two years? Okay. And you play lacrosse? Yeah. How long have you been playing that? Since I was very old. Like, mm -hmm. at school for four years. Okay. All right. Um, do you work anywhere? No. You don't work anywhere at all? Okay. Where do you get your support from? Family? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's kind of start, I'm going to kind of ask you some questions and like I said, we'll explain things a little bit later. Um, tell them about your day yesterday. Played golf with um, our parents. It was a, a, f a father, son. Uh, good event. I mean... Where was that at? At... Uh, um, Wintergreen. Wintergreen. Mm -hmm. Okay. I went to dinner with my dad and my two buddies. Where was that? We're joking. I went to C and L. Okay. Um, and then uh, went home. Went to the bar for like a little while. And right, what time did you go out to eat? The golf event had to ended at five ish, so we were probably back at. That was probably seven thirty with dinner. Okay. And uh, then went home. I drank a few beers. Went 
like at um I went to the bar for a little while. I went to Boyle Boyle Heights. Wow. Okay. Um, then I went over to talk to Yardley, and who's Yardley? Yardley what, is my former girlfriend. Okay. Which this whole thing's about, which I understand, but when I went over to talk to Yardley, I I like was like Yardley, and she was like already f like totally freaked out because because of what she did this past like a few days ago and she we hadn't talked since and I was just gonna go talk to her mm -hmm. and she was already like oh like freaking out like you know you can't go me you can't go me and I was like I'm like just trying to talk to you and like she like started being like like getting like all like you know like really like defensive against it because the week before she came into my apartment and like attacked like and started striking me and I like was like all right you gotta leave and like had my roommate's girlfriend finally be like all right you like take her out of there because of this so when I when I went in to talk to her because we literally she they've been away we've been away when I talked to her she was already like on the defensive edge and like I was like listen I'm not here to like I'm just here to talk to you and she like got all like like sat up like, her bed's against the wall like if it was in this corner she was like up against the wall and I was like like we were sitting there talking and like she started being like like you know like getting like all like aggressive after this and so I was like all right like chill out like and shook her a little bit and she started being like like freaking out and I was like listen I'm not like here to do anything I'm here to talk to you about everything that's ensued in the past week and and she was like and like sort of like being like no 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 like hitting her head like st like stop like like she's in the corner I was on the bed I was like stop like I was like, we were like, what the hell? Like, we were just gonna talk, and like, it was not at all like a good conversation because that's like she was already like freaking out with just even seeing me, just even seeing me there. Okay. What happened next? What happened next? And she just kept hitting her head against the against the wall while she was sitting on the bed, and I was like. I grabbed her and I like shook her. I was like, "Stop!" Like we need to like and looked at her. I was like, "We need to like talk about this." And, like, I mean, I was on holding her arms and stuff, but like, I I never struck her. I never like hit her, hit her like in the face or anything. I was just like, "We need to talk." And she was so like, she was so like, oh, I mean, what's the word? Like you know, like like floppy, a fish out of the water. Like like so like all this. All because of what happened last week, and I was like, "Listen, like, I'm not here to like fight with you or like do anything. Like, I'm here to talk to you." And like, and she's like, no, "No, no, like, get away from me!" All this like, and being and like, and like that's what happened. Like, I laughed. Like, she was in her bed. I think her nose was bleeding a little bit, but she was in her like when I left. She was like still in her bed. Like, and then the, actually she may have. At one point, she got on the floor, and we were, and we were talking. Uh, we were like, and she was still like fighting. Actually, no, she went over to her desk, where the desk is, and she was like, "You have to leave. You have to leave. You have to leave. You have to leave. You have to leave." Have to leave like all this stuff, and I was like, "All right, like fine, like." But like, I want to talk to you after all this, and and like I was I was like a little bit persistent because of the situation, you know, my former girlfriend who, who something happened last week, you know, and I was like, all right, like well, so we were like talking over there, and I mean, I somehow we ended up somehow I was resting to her on the floor, and I was just like, stop, I just like. And I was holding her, but I was never, I never struck her or anything. And I think that might have been when her nose started to bleed. Actually, it was when I was holding her on the floor, being like, "Listen, like, I'm like, you came and attacked me. Like, I wanted to talk to her about 
you know, everything because I got on like whatever, like text messages, to, like from her and all this stuff. And so that's when I was like holding her, but not so, like not like forcefully. And then and then you know she, then I guess that's when her nose body started to bleed. Was when like it, it like it like rolled like that, like her face on the ground and her nose started bleeding and. Then, and then the conversation I could tell was just like, it was not going anywhere and nothing was happening. You know, and I went back home. Well, let's, um, let's kind of start from, you're, you keep talking about something that happened last week. What happened last week? What happened With last her? week? You said kind of set up the... It kind of, well, yeah, I was, that's why I was going over there to talk to her. But yeah, what happened what last happened week? What happened last week? Let's start there. Last week, mm -hmm. well, a lot of things happened. But basically, um, she, for your, she came over to my apartment mm -hmm. at, on. Let, let me, let me stop you there real quick. How long y'all been dating? For two years. Two years. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, two and a half years. Okay. All right. Now, start with that last week. Start Did y'all break up week. last week? We broke up like a month ago, but it had been like talking and like, you know, hanging out and stuff. When did you break up and for? Because we broke up because she wanted to, but like, was because she wasn't really sure about all this because we were both like graduating. You know, and she wants to move to New York, and I want to move like to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And so she was like, "We don't really know," and she was like, "You know, sort of uh, unsure about all of this." So we broke. So she was like, sort of like broke it off like slightly over like you know period of time. Like, all oh, right, well, like we shouldn't hang out anymore, da -da. but we're still hanging out and everything. And then, call them a week ago. She goes down to, she went down to Carolina and like, I don't know what happened there, but she told me what happened, which was like, which was that Wednesday night. She sends me text message like, oh, I'm so glad, like I, I you know, I, you know, I'm so glad like I fucked so-and-so, you know? And so I didn't even respond to that. I was like, whatever. Like, she said you know, she fucked somebody? Is that what you just said? I hooked up, fucked, like, same, okay. same thing. So I didn't even respond to that. Those were in, like, text messages. And you know, so I was like, Brian, like, to my roommate, like, look at this. Like, this is fucked up. And I didn't even respond. So I went to the bar, like, saw her at the bar, actually. And she's, like, all, like, you know, like, fucked up. So I was talking to uh, a buddy and... Um, we were at, and, and like she comes over, it was like my body, like I didn't, whatever, didn't even bother. And then I'm at home on my sofa and she comes in the door like this, two of them um, with the same body, with the same body as mine, the same body that was there earlier, and two, two girls that were visiting, deciding if they wanted to come here to school or not. And she walks in the door, opens the door, and comes over and just starts hitting me in the face. And I like got up, I was like, stop, like, so, like, you know, like, get off of me, like, leave me alone, like, like, you, you can't, like, do this, you can't just, like, start doing this, like, and then I had basically had my roommate's girlfriend, who is friends with my girlfriend, I was like, yo, Liz, like, calling from her from the kitchen, like, get her out of here. Like, never, like, touched her, never struck her. I was just like, listen, like, you have to, like, stop hitting me. And she wouldn't stop, and she kept coming and kept coming. So that happened. So I was going over there to talk to her last night on Sunday, and, like, and that was the reason why I was going over there to talk to her. And I never like hit her, never struck her, never, and nothing happened. All right, all right. So you go over there, knock on the door. Her front door was open. Mm -hmm. Her room door was closed. I knock like, like are they like? She heard me, open the door, and and went in. All right. 
Went in where? To her room. All right, straight to her bedroom? Straight to her bedroom, yeah, I mean. How'd you get through the door? Her door, the mm -hmm. front door? Her door. Actually, it might have been locked. Mm-hmm, it was. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Just, just be honest with you. Yeah, no, yeah, it was actually it was locked. Yeah, because yeah. I think I put a hole. Yeah, you punched door. a hole through the door. Pretty sure, actually, now. Yeah, that okay. you said that. Yeah. All right. Pretty what, sure. What, why'd you do that? Because I won't talk to her. Because mm -hmm. she sent been sending me like emails. Was she like, telling you to leave emails. or? She well, I, to I you? guess what doing? yeah. When I once I was in her room. She was like very like you know like hardly do uh, nah, not like I don't want to talk to you like all the stuff like you know. Da, da, da. What was she wearing? She was what was she wearing? She I think she she was in her bed. She was in her underwear and t-shirt. Okay. Okay. All right. So I you, you get in there. She's in her. her. Okay. I, 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 okay. I'm not saying you do that. I'm just trying to pick yeah, her up. Yeah. No. I understand. Okay. But like. All right, so she's in her bed, t-shirt, and underwear, you think? Yeah. Okay. She, light on, light off? Light off. I'm pretty sure she was like, this was like around, probably, I want to say like 1245-ish. Okay. So she was like, probably, she was like, either asleep or like, you know, to it something. And so I went in there to talk to her. And, and she was very like, you know, very on edge, like, I don't want to talk, like, I don't want to talk, like, uh, you know. Okay. I was like, listen, like, you, what you pulled last week was outrageous. Like, I just want to talk to you. And Why'd you push the door then? Because I want to talk to her. Alright, well continue on. That's fine, continue on. So you're, you're talking to her and she doesn't want to talk to you? Not really. I mean, and, and we talked though, we, like there was parts where we were talking and then like... You know what you're talking about? I mean, about so many different things. Okay. Like, like what? Like what she did last week. Mm -hmm. Like went to like Carolina, how she attacked me, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. The, 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 like, for, like she went to Carolina and hooked up with someone Sunday when we were still trying to figure out things. Came over, attacked me on Tuesday, okay. you know, and I'm just sitting like, and I was over there like, like to talk, like I was like, this is like, this is outrageous. Like, I mean, and because I was trying to make everything better, and and then like, you know. And then all of this happens, and then she comes in and attacks me, and I'm like, and to the point where my my roommate's girlfriend has to like take her out of there. Okay. So, Let this go back to you're in her room tonight. Yeah, last night. Last yeah, night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, so she's like in the corner if her bed's like, if her bed would push all the way back like in the corner, like, you know, like, and she, and I, I'm pretty sure that she she was very defensive because she knew. Like how upset I was because I've told her like through emails like how upset I was like about what she did and about Tuesday night of her like coming in and starting to strike me and so I was like and I sat on the edge of her bed I was like listen like I want to talk to you like like what you did was bullshit like that was that's not like okay like, so you're pretty upset pretty angry. Um, yeah, I, was, I mean, I was, I, I was more, like, emotional than I would say angry. Okay. You're hurting. And I was just like, I, like, and, and she's like, uh, like, not like, like, you know, she's like, uh, like, you know, sort of pushing everything that she did to the back burner and, like, talking about, like, like, you know, like, like trying to, like, put everything that she did, like, wasn't important and and like you know we talked and she like kept getting like and then she kept saying things like oh well like you know like i mean what did, she was saying stuff like oh like, i don't trust you like or stuff like that and i was and like and it got it kept going to the point where she like I was like, listen, like you're like we have to figure like out what's going on. And she was like, I'm not, I'm not talking, I'm not talking to you. And then she like pushed me, like get out of here, like like go. And I was like, no. And like I was like, 
be like, we have to talk, like, it's like, get, like. When, you, when you're doing that, what, what are you holding on her? On her arms. On her arms, like maybe up here? Like shoulders, yeah. Shoulders? Like, 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 like okay. yeah, like, just, like, never, like, str never, like, you know, I mean, if I could, like, show you. I, no, I'm sorry. I know, just I know, but, like, up and, like, upper arms. like come on like you know and see that's when she would like wiggle and like, like get away and like you know like hide in the get in the corner like really like aggressive like defensively almost and then we like wrestle the building ground the same way her nose started bleeding and and then i was and then she ended i think she was back in bed and i was and i left i was like oh, this is the, not going anywhere how did she get back in bed uh, we were like wrestling and we stood up and I, I tossed her, I pushed her onto the bed. I was like, go to bed, like, I'll talk to you later. I put, I, yeah, I'm like, I didn't like throw her, but like, mm -hmm. we were like standing up at this point after we were wrestling on the ground. She had like a bloody nose. Mm -hmm. And I was like, go, you, uh, go to bed. Okay. And you kind of tossed her on the bed and you left? Yeah. Okay. Did um did you go back and check on her at any point? No, I did not. Okay. Did you uh, uh did you touch her neck area at all? Did you choke her at one point? Um I may have grabbed her a little bit by the neck mm -hmm. when we were like but I never like strangled her. Okay. Um okay. but I yeah, I mean during the whole like commotion, you know, like I, we may have, I might have grabbed her neck, but I never was, never was like strangling her. Okay, all right. All right. Um, I'm gonna go check on something really quick, and I'll be right back. Okay. Do you mind if I use the okay. restroom? Um, actually, hold on one second. <sighs> My phone was going off and I had to take that call. I really apologize. I know you got to use that one. Yeah, I one was just on. I don't know. Make sure whenever the thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, you said you got there about 1245, is that right? I think so. You think? I mean, okay. Around that area. Why do you think it was that time? Just because, you know, I went to dinner around 7.30, I think. Okay. And went home for a little while, then went to the bar for a little bit. So I, I mean, that's just my... Kind of estimate, maybe. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm not. Did you um? Did you call her and let her know you were coming, or text her? Or? No, because she says she lost her phone the night that she came over to my apartment. She says it's my apartment, but it's not. So she doesn't have a phone. Okay. So I did not call her or text her. What? Uh, how long do you think you were at her apartment when you were there? Like between. Like around like eight minutes. I mean, like, mm -hmm. not long. I mean, no, not not eight eight to ten minutes. Okay. All right. Was anybody else there? Just the two of you. No, her roommates weren't there actually. Okay. Excuse me. Um. Okay. Did when when you left her apartment? Did you take anything with you? No. Nothing she was at all. In her bed. All right. All right. Because um. I think we're not, her, her laptop is missing, I guess. Did you grab it for any reason? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. You did? Okay. Is it at your apartment? Yeah, okay. somewhere in my apartment. I can okay. give it to her. Why'd you grab your laptop? Because I was so pissed that she wouldn't talk to me. I was like, I don't know. I like took it almost as like collateral, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's, it's not reasonable logic, but. Right. Okay. I don't know. Did you take anything else besides no, your laptop? No. Nothing. No. Okay. I mean, All right. So when um when you left out of there, I mean, you saw that she was bleeding on her nose. Did, mm -hmm. did you try to call rescue or anything? Make sure she's alright. No, I did not. No. Why? Uh, I didn't think it was like. In I didn't think that she was like in need of like going to the emergency room I we she just got I mean a play what do you think that I don't know I mean I, I did, did you say when you were and correct me if I'm wrong when you were shaking her her head was hitting the wall 
well, that was in the beginning. That was in initially when I walked in. Like she was like up in the corner, like just, like get like get out of here, like you know, like this. Mm -hmm. like, at, at any time when you were shaking her, did her head bang the the wall? Did did you like I mean, shake her into the wall? I know you already said you didn't punch her and stuff. And, no, and I mean I wasn't like like throwing her into the wall. Like I mean we were sitting on her bed, which is against the wall, and I was mm -hmm. like like. And I was like, like, you're like, and like, I mean, maybe, like, I wasn't hitting her against the wall, but like, when she's uh, like sitting there in the corner mm -hmm. of like, if it were like, or like, like this, and I'm like, you're like, you know, and I, I was like, 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 what the fuck was that about? Like, that, that's such bullshit that you like do that. Like, you know, I mean, possibly I was like, you know, that, that's such a like bullshit move. Like, what would, would like, you know, like. And we're like, hitting her, like, what are you like doing, like, like that, like? Okay. She she has a pretty good knot on her head. That's why I'm asking how uh, that how how you can explain how that would have happened. I mean, I don't even know when that a knot. Mm-hmm. I mean, like on on the side of her head, she's been hit pretty good right there. So I'm just trying to figure out, did you hit her with something? No. Was that no, her I never, I never, never touched her. Or Struck her or anything. Well, you touched her. You had your hands on. You know, I yeah, no, I, I said never struck her. Okay. Never, never, never at all. Like. Well, I'm, I'm trying I'm to just, figure I'm out why, think, why she's got why. a black eye and why she's got a big lump right there. I mean, we were. I mean. I don't know. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how. With anything. So she's got them. So okay, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Um. Hughley has asked more about his contact with Yardley the night of May second, the messages he and Yardley exchanged, and bruises on his leg that he said were a result of playing lacrosse. He has asked how much he drank on that Sunday, what he wore, and what happened to Yardley's laptop. Hughley said he drank 14 drinks that day, including beer at the golf course, wine at dinner, and beer later that evening. So you, you, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go through this one more time, make sure we're on the same page. So you're, you're pretty pissed at her from a week ago for sending you his text messages. Do you have those text messages where she says she, uh, as you put it, fucked somebody? I actually might have those, yeah. All right, you got your phone with you? Yeah. And let's, let's pull it out and scroll through it. Let's see if we can see those. Y'all kind of broke up a while back. It's kind of been, you're still been talking. Yeah, yeah, last yeah, week, she gets pissed, you get pissed because she sends you a text. So last night, you go over there wanting to talk. Let's talk about how you, you entered. entered. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Because to put your, to have put your fist through the door. No, I, it's she actually my leg, I'm pretty through sure. Your leg. Because that's why my legs like this. Yeah, you're right. No, that was your leg. Yeah. How did you get all the bruising on your hand then? This is all from the cross. This is all. That's this, pretty fresh right there, looks. This is all from my lacrosse game on Saturday. On Saturday. I, mean, I wear my arm, you can see where my arm pads are. Mm -hmm. Right here, my gloves right here. and that's Even right there, I thought you you wore those padded gloves. This is lacrosse. all. This is all the difference. This is all from lacrosse. 100%. This is where my arm pads are and my glove mm -hmm. goes to here. This is all tanner because it's because that's where it gets sawn compared okay. to where my legs like 
the difference in color. Yeah. And, okay. and that's, I got whacked here, I remember 100% got whacked during the game when I was trying to end, like kill the clock. Mm -hmm. when, when you had her on your shaker, did she scratch you anywhere? No. No? No. She's a little girl. She's tiny. Yeah, she did not know. She didn't, she didn't she try to hit you or anything like that? No. Okay. So you, you kick in the door. Yeah, going. that's so that that that's how I entered. Yeah. Okay. And then I stuck my hand through and unlocked it and went in there and Okay. Everything else was for you. Right. What was she saying while you're kicking the door? I mean did you get just go straight and kick or did you knock first? No, I knocked first. I was like, You're let me in and she was like and I think she was like she said something that was that was I remember that was like I just don't remember exactly what it was, but I just remember saying it and saying something or like whispering some shit or like I don't know. And I was like, all right, well, I'm, like she knew because I sent her emails. I sent her like six emails recently that was like, we need to talk. I'm coming over to talk to you. Okay. And like, and she didn't actually actually didn't respond to those past two ones. But I've told her, and she or she said something like. Like fuck you, I'm not talking to you. Like, so along those lines. All right. How much did you have to drink tonight? Last night. Um, I had probably four, four or five beers on the golf course. Mm -hmm. And I that was had, earlier in the day, though, right? That was early in the day. And then I had two glasses of wine at dinner, and then like, a, like three more beers afterwards, and like. So three more years of the three about like okay. afterwards I like, probably after dinner I probably had like five beers combined. Okay. Um, did you smoke any weed? No. Any other drugs? No, I mean, Nothing. I don't know. Okay. What were you wearing? I was Last wearing night? shorts and a t-shirt. That? No. 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 What did shorts and t-shirt look like? They are on my floor of my room. Mm -hmm. There are, are cargo shorts and a t-shirt. Okay. What color are the cargo shorts? Blue. And t-shirt? I think white, but I'm not positive. Yeah, I mean a white t-shirt. Alright. All right. Alright, we've been through what else happened. Where, when did you leave? Right after you went out the front door? Yeah. Where'd you go? Home. Straight home? Yeah. Talk to anybody? No. Call anybody? No. Call, you said she didn't have a phone, right? She doesn't have a phone, no. Is her phone at your house? I leave me and my roommate to look for a phone, and her, my roommate's girlfriend is looking for a phone. We have no, I mean, it's not at our apartment. Okay. So, um, but you pick up her computer on the way out of the bedroom, right? Yeah. Anything else did you take? No, Nothing. not. Where are we going to find the computer at? The computer is, I mean, the dumpster maybe. So you threw her computer in the dumpster? Yeah, the one right by 14th Street. Okay. The one, no, not, not the one right by 14th Street. It's, it is the one right by the, the point. By the point? There's an apartment. Called the point, the point. yeah. And I, on the way home, I just tossed it in there. Okay. Walked over there, tossed it in there, and walked home. That's about it. Okay. That's where the computer is. All right. Did you toss anything else no, in there that we need no, to know about? No, 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 okay. No. So, what do you do once you get home? I just went to bed. Anybody else home? No. No. No, no, no. no. And you just went to bed, and then we yeah, show up. Yeah, I went to bed and you showed up. Did you take a shower or anything like that? No. No? Okay. No, nothing. And uh, did you happen to look at the clock before you lay down? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what time. I mean, I wasn't <laughs> paying the time, you know. Right, right. Okay. All right, I'm going to get one of these detectives call you into the bathroom right quick. Yeah. Or take you to the bathroom right quick. You want to take him to the bathroom right quick? Not yet. No, no, not yet. yet. You. Man, if you can hold up just a little bit of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Did you want to continue talking to him a little bit? You know, some stuff? Yeah, we'll talk to Sarah quick. All right. I'm going to pull okay. on your phone there. We don't allow anybody to use our phones in here. Okay. for you, sir. All right. That's why there's two of us. We can't stuff each each one, <laughs> of, each one of us miss. Um, I, I know we, we touched about what uh, what happened last night, but set it up for me. Lead it up to me a little bit here. Why did you guys break up exactly? Why? Why? Yeah. Well, we are not. We are not from the same area. Right. And I'm going. Or she wants me to New York, and I'm not exactly sure where, what I'm doing yet, but I'd like to move to San Francisco. And um, so we've like been like talking about this. She found like a text message in my phone from another girl, and that, and then like we broke up because of that. Kind oh, that was of, it. Like, sort of like on, on like an ongoing. Mm -hmm. Play type deal. Because it's funny that you mentioned putting your hands around her neck and holding her back that way. Is there re another reason why you two broke up? Any arguments? Any any past physical violence? Um, okay, be that because keep in mind before we've talked to you, we've talked to other people too. No, I understand. You know, that. You know, okay. I mean, I mean that night that she found the 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 text messages in my phone, I was like. I don't know. I was that night. I was more drunk than I've probably ever been. Right. And she did the same thing, like you know, like sort of like yelling at me, and like hitting me while I'm drunk. And I, I actually laid on her and like held her, like detained her, kind of. And she ended up like leaving, but that that happened that night. How did you detain her? I mean. Sir, like that night, I was. Did you like over yourself, or did other people have to come and get you off of her? Uh, I'm not. You know, I don't. I really don't remember mm -hmm. that night at all. Not at all. Okay. No, not at all. But maybe because you, you maybe you smothered her a little bit that night. Maybe you choked her a little bit. No, I don't think I choked her. She never said I choked her. She said I I laid on her and held her. Right. And like and like, how did how did you lay down on her? She, she said I literally like laid on her. Was she face down and you laid on top I, of her? Or? I don't even know. We like, like we've hung out since that night, like a bunch of times, like actually probably a dozen times since that night. Right. And we haven't really talked about that. But since that night, like she's never said that like I was choking her or anything. She said I literally like laid on her and like kind of like didn't well, let her. She's leave. about what, 105, 110 pounds soaking uh -huh. wet? You're almost yeah, double her size? Yeah, probably. You, you don't think that would maybe be enough to take the breath out of her if you're laying down on top of her? Uh, I mean, I never, th I never thought about it like that, right. but I never, like, <laughs> I never, like, hurt her. Right. Like, like, well, you know, we, ne we never mentioned anything to her, you know, to her face, and you, you constantly bring up that you didn't punch her in the face. No, I we, we never even asked you that question. I know. I mean, did, did, you, maybe, did, you, maybe, did you maybe at least smack her hand, no. snap out of it, or something like that? No. no What's wrong with you? I did not. No, Nothing did like not, that. I never. No. I mean, I'm in here for assault charges. Right. That's why. I, no, I, I, mean, I never told you you were. Yeah, you, we had said, any warrants on you. Right. I know, but so someone you're being said right here right for an, okay. an assault investigation. Right. And have, that's have, why you, I have, have you ever threatened any harm to her? No. 
No. Why'd you take her computer? I don't know. I have no idea. There's maybe maybe because there's evidence on the computer emails that you sent. No, there's no. I mean, you you can find you can read all the emails and right. everything back and forth. Okay. Like, there's there's no threats. There's not going to be anything on that computer that we're going to bring no, up forensically. That's no, like, no. that came from George saying, "Hey, you know what? No. I found out that you're cheating on me." No, no, nothing like that. Nothing, nothing. Why did you take that computer? Then? I no. I mean, you can look at my computer. The same emails that are on my computer on her computer. I mean, emails are on the internet. Like it's not like her email account is erased because I took her computer. I have no idea why I took her computer. Probably because. She was like not talking to me and not like, you know, like she like did all this stuff and I just walked out of there with a the computer. Why, why would this little girl just for no reason start attacking you out of the blue? You, you can ask my friends that but the night that, that the other night? Yeah, the other night. Um, you, you can, I wish, there, I, have four, I have three eyewitnesses for that one. Right. She walked in and started punched me in the face, hit me with her purse, hit me with her cell phone. And literally when I stood up and backed away, it was like to the other, I was like, you got to stop, like get away from me, get away from me. She came, kept coming back for more. Okay. Okay. No violence, right? Nothing. No, no, sir. I'm not, I'm not lying. Like, you can read all the emails. You can, do, you can look at everything. Why in the heck would you break down her door then? Lock door I means don't come in. talk right? to her. And I sat no, no, that's, that's more than that, man. That, that's rage, the way that door was kicked in. That was pure rage. You must have, you must have been seriously mad. No. You, you've told us everything else. I've told you everything. Yeah, I've told you guys everything. I'm not hiding anything. Right. I've told you literally but why, everything. But why kick it in? That's just pure rage, man. I, I wanted it, to it, talk it, to her. I wanted way. to talk to her. I wanted to talk to her. Have you always her. been that way with her as far as if she didn't want to do something? It was kind of your way of the highway type of thing? No. No. No? No. I mean, you know, I, I understand that, you know, you had a lot of alcohol in you last night. Okay? I mean, yes. And, you know, do you think that could have maybe led into why you were, you know, fed your emotions to kick in that door? That, that may have, have, have made me rationalize kicking in the door to open it up, but it was all strictly to go in there and talk to her. I wanted to talk to her. I told her that I sent emails. You can see all the emails, you can see everything. I said, we need to talk about this. Okay. Like we, I said like, like I think three emails, like, I want to come talk to you when people say, like, fuck yourself, like, you know? And I should not have gone over there when, like, I was drinking, but, like, that, when I was, like, that, that's made me emotional, so I wanted to go talk to her. That's why I kicked in the door. That's why I was, like, trying to talk, that's why I wanted to talk to her. Now, now, I know you mentioned you fell on her like a week ago, right? When you were laying down. No, that, that was that was a month ago. A month. A when month. you detained her, right? Did you detain her last night at all? No, no. Did you fall down on top of her? You know, wrestling. We were ground? wrestling on the ground for like a little. Did you bit. wrestle on the bed at all? No, I never like no, never like. I mean, I shook her. No, I mean like just kind of hold her down until she calmed down on the bed. No, if anything that would I mean, I mean, if, any, if anything that would have been like on the floor, but because like, I'm sure you didn't want to hurt her. That way, if you were restraining her on the bed, she wouldn't be able to hurt herself as much as a no. Because ever, I never was like laying on her like in the bed. Like I want when we were on the floor, when her nose started bleeding, we were like wrestling around, and that's when her nose started bleeding. Was it pretty noisy when you all were wrestling around? No, I mean, was she screaming. No, no, she, no, she was no. She was not screaming, actually. I mean, if I'm, crack, crack, if I'm cracking my head in the wall, I'm going to be saying, oh, yeah. 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 No, I mean, she was not screaming. Yeah. She should have been, probably. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Why do you think she should have I don't know. I mean, well, she was screaming when I first, like, came into the room. And she was like, no, like, I'm not talking to you. Like, get the fuck out of here. All that. But, like, that was it. When, um... At any point, 
before you said you, you and this was your words, you said you tossed her on the bed and then you left. Yeah. All right. At any point before that, did she lose consciousness? No. Okay. What happened after you tossed her on the bed? Did she move? Did she talk about to say something? I mean, I literally tossed her on the bed and turned around and... Tossed her on the ground or tossed her on the bed? On the bed. bed. I, walked, I the walked bed. out the door. Okay. She did she out, have or... on... Did she still have her, her t-shirt on? At that point? Yeah. Did that get ripped uh, off? She, she, yeah, I mean, she never... She had her t-shirt on the entire time. Okay. She never had her... She was never not unclothed. All right. So you didn't sexually assault her or anything? No, 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 no. no. Okay, I, I I'm sorry. I know, I, I know you have to. Sorry. Okay. I apologize. All right. So but when you tossed her in her bed, was she on her back or on her stomach? I mean, I think she was on her back. I'm not sure. I mean, okay. I was like, you know. We, we, I asked you earlier about the, the light. Is she Because if she's kind of in bed, then maybe the lights were off. Were the lights on? And did you turn them the on? The lights were. <clears throat> for you to be able to see. The lights were not on. No. How did you see the blood and stuff coming around? Because her, she's got a big bay window mm -hmm. right by her room, and there's lights from the parking lot. Okay. That it's. I mean, it's not. It's not hard. It's easy to see. Okay. So when you tossed her back on the bed, in in your mind, she's she was um, bleeding. But you said she was bleeding out her nose, and and you didn't you didn't feel like you needed to call rescue. No. After that, after banging her head and no, she I, shaking I, her, no. and blood coming out her nose on the floor. No, I mean it was. A, let, let me ask you this: a, Where did you? Um, and you've been honest so far, so there's really no reason not to to lie about anything. But uh, when you left out there, were you kind of like she got what she deserved? Is that why no, you called nine one one? No, 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 no. It wasn't about that for me. Mm -hmm. It was about going to talk to her. Mm-hmm. There's nothing about yeah, like. You missed anything that we want to ask him right now? There's nothing about like going going to get anything or going, you know, I don't know I took a computer and that was irrational, mm -hmm. but that was like my collateral almost, if you could look at it like that. I mean, I guess that's where my logic was at, but mm -hmm. that, which is. What you're about to see is the moment that Hughley finds out that Yardley is not alive anymore. He appears to be genuinely surprised by this and it seems to sink in what he has done. Well, I have to tell you something. Well, I think I know why you took the computer. Yeah, why well, yeah. do you say? You, go, is that right? Go, go ahead. No? Yeah. She's dead. You killed her, George. You killed her. She's dead? I think you knew that already. No, I did not. She's dead. How the fuck is she dead? Because you killed her, George. How the fuck is she dead? Because you killed her. Oh my god. We're not here for any reason, George. She's dead? Yes. She's dead? Yes. She's dead. She's dead. How? How? I already told you how. You already told us how as well. How is she dead? You just told us. How is she dead? How is she dead? I didn't triangle. I didn't do. I, I didn't fucking hit her. How the fuck is she dead? She, oh. I don't even know. I don't. Dad. Yes. How the fuck is she dead? Oh my god. We're serious, George. And that's why we that's why you took the computer, isn't it? No. Because you had threats to kill her on that from a past email because she hooked up with a player from UNC. I never, I said that, I, I never, like, that was just like the, 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 the moment. moment. It was the moment. Yeah. Last, night, last night was he the moment too, wasn't it? 
You went in there to talk with her, but it got out of control, right, George? The alcohol got a hold of you. You kicked in her door. She started to fight with you. You punched her in the head, or you cracked she's her not dead. You cracked she's her not head. Dead. You she's cracked her head dead. in the window or in the in the wall. She's not dead. She is. She's not. Dead. I ain't BSing you right now. It's serious. I want to see. I want to see her. George, look at me. George, she is dead. You are not here to dance with us. You're you're here because she's dead. The alcohol. I don't believe it. I don't believe it's it. It's true, dude. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I did it. I didn't hurt George, her. Listen to listen to me. I didn't hurt her. Listen to me. You probably didn't mean to hurt her. I didn't hurt her. You went in there, you kicked the door, she got a little feisty. You either punched her or you smacked her head a little into the concrete, and then you held her down on the pillow, because that's what no, you did. No, I didn't hit her on the pillow. I was never on the bed. Okay. Then. I never held her down. I never, I never <laughs> suffocated. I never did anything. I, I don't believe that she's dead. How did you? How did, I don't believe that she's dead. How I she, don't believe that she's did dead. Did you punch her? Did you hit her? How, she's, there's there's no way she's dead. There's, she's not dead. I didn't. I never listen, did anything listen to me. that she could be dead. Listen to me. She's not dead. Did there's, you punch her? or did No, I never, I never know. Did you hold her head into the wall? Did you crack it? We, no. Did you Is her head cracked? Did you smack her head in the wall? No. She's not dead. She's not dead. You guys said she has a black eye and a, a bump on her head. She has those things. But uh, she's not. She, she, she's not dead. I didn't. I didn't. I did not. I did not. All right. Let's let's calm down. I did not like hurt her. Like she's she's not dead. Calm down. Calm down, Minute George. Okay. Tell me she's not dead. Tell me okay. she's she, she's not dead. I, I want you to calm down right now. Okay. Right. I don't. I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I never did anything that would that could do that to her. Well, let's just let's calm. I never did anything okay. that could do that to her. I swear to God, I never did anything that could do that to her. I never. No. I, I don't. I, I. I. I refuse to believe that that she's dead because there's no way that anything that happened last night could kill her. Okay. Just, just out of protocol, what we gotta do is spin up for you. Go ahead, put your hands behind your back. Turn around. Relax. Relax. You'll be alright. Tell me she's not dead. Tell me she's not dead, though. Please. You tell me she's not dead. Relax. Please. We tell me. You know what? I wish I could tell you that, George. Twenty-two year old. Twenty-two, and her life is done. Oh my God! Kill me. She's she going to be dead. She's going to be dead. She's not. I can't not do anything like that. Oh, I did not do anything that could kill I could have killed her. You you are, you do realize you're under arrest. I realize okay. that. All right. We're going to consult the Commonwealth Attorney on the proper charge, but it's going to be related to her death. I make sure you understand. She's dead. Okay. She's not. Oh. Hell, there's no way. Oh my god, there's no way she could be dead. There's no way. Oh my god. There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. I don't believe it. It's true. I don't. I mean, we just want to help, help us understand what happened last night, George. Start, start over from the beginning, buddy. I'm not lying to happened? you. Everything I said to you was so true. I'm not lying to you about anything. And she, she had a t-shirt on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm most confident. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Was her t-shirt not on when? When? We're not gonna tell you. We're not gonna. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm not lying. Help us understand what happened last night, George. Go through it again. I told you everything. I told you. I told you everything. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm I don't even believe it yet. I do not believe it. I do not believe it. I don't believe it. Okay. Yeah. Just a second. There's no way. There's no way, sir. Sir, there's no way he's dead. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. It's true, George. How? How would it have? There's no. There's no way. There's no way she could be dead. Why do you think you're sitting here in handcuffs? 
for 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 a navy for for what you guys said were soul charges. She's dead. I can't. I'm not. I'm not lying to you. You would have said murder charges if you were lying. If you were honest with me, you would have said murder she, charges. She was assaulted. You would have said murder and charges. And you said I would have murdered her. You would have said I, I murdered. Did she die this morning? Afterward? I can't tell you when. I know, but I, I listen. I didn't murder. I didn't murder. I didn't. I know she's not dead. 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 There's no way she's dead. Calm down, George. There's no way she's dead. There's no way. There's, there can't be any way she's dead. There can't be any way that she's dead. Sir, I'm telling you, there's no way she's dead. You have to be lying to me. Tell me you're lying to me. Tell me you're lying to me. How is she dead? I'm not lying to you. How is she dead? How? If, what, what did she die from? Well, we're going to find that out. What did she die from? We're going we're gonna to find out. I can't make that determination. Sir, sir. E either the head trauma or asphyxiation. It, it, there was no asphyxiation. Okay. God, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And, and I know you've, you've told me the truth, but I, th I think you know, there may be some parts you're leaving now. I'm not sure. I'm not. And, and how, does her, how did she get all that head trauma? From banging. I don't believe that. I don't believe she banged her own head in the wall, man. Well, the rest of the... It's a, I don't believe she's dead. I don't believe she's dead. I don't believe she's dead. I don't believe it. There's no way she's dead. There's no way she's dead. There's no way. She has to be alive. She has to be. She wasn't, there's no way. There's no way. Last time I saw her, she was not dead. She was not dead. There was never. What, was she, not, what she, was she doing the last time you saw her? She was like, she was like standing up with me. She was standing up with me. She was standing up with me, looking at me. Was she standing or hold, you were she holding her? She was standing up, looking at me. Okay. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. to me either are you you're not lying no. she's dead yes. oh my god i know no. i know i got out of hand no it, it didn't it didn't it didn't it didn't it did not it didn't it didn't, it didn't. I... and what happened i didn't kill her i did not kill her i did not kill her i did not i did not 
I did not kill her. Did you maybe smack her head one time too hard? I never hit, no. I mean, and then maybe on the ground, no. Did you smack her head, maybe lay her on the bed so she could kind of relax? No, 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 no. Well, you didn't punch her because, you know, I don't think you would have done that. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I still do not believe it. So, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You just came in and said you were a final assault charge, which makes sense, but that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. She was assaulted and she died. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. And you were there. This happened when you were there. I need, to. now's the time to man up, George. Tell me what happened. I here. told you what happened. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. What happened to get I told you what happened. I told you what happened. How did it get out of control? It didn't. I told you what happened. It didn't get out of control. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. There's no way she's dead. There's no way I can do it. No way. No way. The day after the interrogation on May 4, 2010, Hughley was charged with taking the life of Yardley Love. On February 22, 2012, a jury found him guilty of all charges against him. Then, on August 30th, he was formally sentenced to 23 years in prison. His release date is May 30, 2030, at which time he will be 42 years old.